am kind of shocked that I'm the one who gets to tell this story for the first time because I thought for sure I would be the second person giving my version of events because I figured that yesterday that they were going to get into it. But let, let's just get into it. So there's a. Uh, the impact awards which is something just listen to how nervous and embarrassed he is starting this story off by saying how shocked he was in translation adam has finally came to the conclusion that not one person under the figmunity world umbrella wants anything to do with him shout outs to stead but we all know how the chat has been dogging him especially cryptic shout outs to him too the most gangster insect on this side of the mississippi but honestly when Mojo Adam tried to lie and say that he spoke to Stet and maybe planning on having him at No Jumper, Stet gained a lot of deserved respect for standing on business and not making a big deal, like Big Deal did, out of the situation. The funniest thing about it is that I can almost guarantee that Big Deal is going to stay with No Jumper until he gets the perfect opportunity to nail the final truth bomb to Adam's forehead. That he's not as big of a deal that he thinks he is. Now one more thing about this clip that was funny is the fact that Adam doesn't realize that his entire fan base is full of fans of Figmunity World. I mean it's not even close by a long shot overall. Everything about Figmunity World is on a rise and everything about No Jumper is on the harshest decline in social media history. When Adam says how he was waiting to mention whatever big news he has planned to discuss, he was shocked that it was only a big deal to him and not any fan nor anyone with Figmunity World. To be honest. I really had to watch the full clip to know what he was talking about because I never heard anyone from Figmunity World mention a no-jumper interaction. Let's see how bad Adam continues to embarrass himself 